salvation and the surgery of God flows through and from. This is the day that the Lord hath made, but I don't know about you, but I will be, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Sitting out here by Lake Michigan, thought I would come out here in a, a great attempt to calm down and on the inside. I got to bury this youngin' today. 23 years old and, and OD'd on them pills. But this is not why this message, what this message is about. So many grown folks, I guess. So many adults. So many of you. So many men and women have or are preparing and have prepared their spouse, their loved one that's in a relationship with them their girlfriend, their boyfriend, their wife or, or husband of years, their boyfriend or girlfriend of decades. So many of you are preparing the person that you are currently dating, married to, been married to, been dating. You are preparing that person to leave you. And you know why that man left you? And you know why that woman left you? Some of y'all know in your mind and heart that the person that you're with right now is planning on leaving you. You know why she won't talk to you. You know why he won't talk to you. So many of you have lost a, a good man or lost a great woman because of how you treated her or, or how you treated him. So many of you are mad and angry and honorary now because you had someone good in your life but you let them slip through your fingers like sand. So many of you had a great woman, great wife, great spouse, great man, great husband, but for some odd and stupid reason you refused to change. You refuse to change for the better so you can live happily ever after. Some of y'all had, had the greatest relationship, the greatest marriage, and you just kept on poking the bear. You kept on poking the bear until poking the bear became smoking the bear. I get calls daily for years from crying men. Ram, she leave me. Bro, I don't want to lose her. And I ask this question, what have you been doing wrong to cause or to make a person leave you in the drop of a hat? Hey, Jill, you know why that man left you. You know why that woman walked away. Hey, cuz. And so many of y'all have had some good women, some great women some protectors and providers are, are more of you and you the man. Some of y'all have had some women that have done it all for you. Laid your clothes out. Wish I could find one. <laughs> Iron your white shirts. Wish I could find one. <laughs> uh, some of y'all, just the old man in me coming out, have had a wife. I ain't going to know. I'm just messing around. Who cooked everything and every day. Uh, some of you, some of you, some of you. See, that's why I block and delete person. You never heard this before, but I'm going to go back and block you and delete you. Trust me, I am. So many of you have had some good people in your life. Some of you, God has sent time and time again a good man, a good woman. Instead of taking the good man, you chose the dope dealer. Instead of take, taking the good man, you took the violent man. Instead of taking the good man, you took the uh, the whore or. Instead of taking the good man, you took the one that was tall, dark, and handsome. And after a while, you realized he was just tall and dark on the inside. Some of you have have had a great opportunity, hey, Deb, to be with great women, educated, pretty, saved. Easy going, easy to talk to. I'm talking to the brothers now. Some of y'all have had great women 
or had a great woman. Some of y'all got a great woman now and you talk to her, you call her stupid. You say things like you the smartest, dumbest person I know. You scream and you yell and I, I've never had a woman or a wife that has laid my clothes out. I'm not looking, I'm not asking. Some of you have had a woman who iron your clothes, wash your dirty drawers, wash your dirty socks, wash your dirty t-shirts, put up with your dirty mouth, your dirty mind, put up with your attitude and you have no altitude. Some of y'all have are with some great women, been with some great women, highly educated, smart, naturally smart, witty, kind, and you still don't get it that you preparing her to leave you. I get calls daily. Brothers crying. Rev, don't call me Rev, because I'm not Rev. You Rev an engine and you revise a book. I am your brother. I don't want no title because I'm not title driven. I'm God driven. So you call me Reverend, I'm going to let you have it. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Some of y'all, God has sent or allowed you to keep or to meet or to partake in or to hold on to. A beautiful sister. I ain't talking about skin. A beautiful brother. I ain't talking about skin color. And for some odd, uncanny reason, you scream, you yell, you put her down, you cuss her out, you call her God off her names, you don't tell her she's pretty, you you tell her, you, you watch this, you got a, a greater relationship with the little hussy at work telling her she's pretty and cute than the awesome wife you have at home. Some of y'all have a greater relationship with the bartender than you have with your husband. And I always say this, it's a shame, it's a shame, it's a shame. You know, I, I, when I was on my marital platform and I used to plead my case why I should be treated better, I used to say things like, you treated the drug dealer better than you treat me. I used to say things like, you treat the uh, uh, baby daddy who walked off and left you and the kids of the Harvard ex-husband better than you treat me. Some of you have lost some great women. Some of you have lost some great men. Some of you have put that man or woman on layaway to leave you alone. Some of you know why the man can't stand you. Some of you know why the woman won't touch you. Some of you, some of you know why she turn them back to you every time you get in bed. Uh, some of you and know why you're going to be alone in a, just a little while. Some of you, some of you know why uh, he's planning to leave you. Some of you know why she's already left you. Some of you know why she's left you mentally. Some of you know why she's left you emotionally. Some of you know why she's left you spiritually. It's the way you talk. It's the way you talk. You cuss her out, you call her names. She's more educated than you, but she can't teach you nothing. She's worked all her life, and you think you gave her everything, but all you've given her is hell. Some of you know why you walk around on eggshells and pin cushions, you feel like, because you know she, uh, that the indication of her or him leaving you is poking you all the time. Some of you, uh, your anger is your only heat. Some of you, uh, the same letters in heat, are the same letters in hate. Some of you mm, are preparing that man or that woman to leave you. And I pray that it don't hurt, but it is. You're going to be in the field. You're going to drink. You're going to drug. You're going to rock all night. Some of you, when all you had to do was treat her right, some of you I woke up like this. I got to bury this 23-year-old young in the day, and I'm up. Ask all them young folks in the congregation, how do you want to be remembered?